Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to Slay the Spire Draft Champions with Rhapsody Raps. How are you on this fine day? Extremely, extremely well in yourself. I'm doing great, dude. It's been two weeks since the last uh, Draft Champs. We've had a bunch of other commitments and things like that that have popped up in the way. But you know what? We're back, and we're back with a, a crazy deck combination for you today. We have a new modded deck in the rotation this is the uh replay the spired deck raps how do you feel about replay uh extremely strongly positive <laughs> i also feel extremely strongly positive about replay the spire very good mod has a lot of cards and relics and events and all kinds of good stuff so those cards are going to be slipped in with the defect and the silent mm -hmm. cannot wait to get into it because we did the ironclad marissa last time so it's defect silent and the replay cards is it a replay card specifically for the ironclad silent and the colorless replay cards or is it i think sorry it, it is it is defect? all of the replay cards are in there okay so we is, it, is that possibly a, going to include ironclad replay cards it then? will possibly include ironclad replay cards Ooh, which is a little bit more spice right yeah it's like a little bit of a pseudo diverse yeah it's a little little cumin on the the eggs if you catch my drift all right. Mm -hmm. So I do. Hey, uh, Cumin in particular, I know like this is the later part of the episode, but Cumin in particular, <laughs> I didn't know that Cumin was a spice for ages. And so I was uh, having pancakes at my partner's house at the time. Uh, and I went into the kitchen and I saw a container that had C at the, uh, at the first letter and the final letters were M-I-N. And I was like, ah, cinnamon. And I put, <laughs> now don't you say that M O N are the last letters of cinnamon because yeah, I know. I know. And I put it all over the top of the pancakes and then I ate half of the pancake in a single bite and I was like, I feel awful. What have I done to myself? Uh, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. I probably wouldn't recommend dumping a bunch of cinnamon on your pancakes, but mm -hmm. you know, it or cumin for that matter, but that's okay. Um how do you like the deck here? Raps? Ooh, I am having a, a little bit of a quick look through and kind of reminding myself of the elements in. There, there's a couple of... I, honestly, there's not, there's not a lot of replay cards, but mm -hmm. there's, there's still some, some interesting heat here, and we're going to see if we're going to get lucky. That, that is a, a replay card that we cannot do. Okay, we are the defect for this one, okay. which I think makes okay. significantly more sense with the deck that we have. <laughs> yeah, it, it also makes a lot of difference to the actual builds that you're going to want to utilize here. Yeah, I agree. I think I've already found mine. I I have a couple of things that I am interested in rocking today. Oh, there, there, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, event there. relic, you want to remove the event I relic? Probably, yeah. Well, yeah, well, just, I, I mean, get rid of that one too. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Also, this only affects card selections, which we can't Yeah, make. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay, okay. Someday. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. Oh, you got to be kidding me at this point. Okay. <laughs> what a fun what a fun experience it is every week when I uh, draft the relics, huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, flip of the coin, you want heads or tails? I'll take tails. Okay. And that is that is flipping, not rolling. Okay, here we go. And it's heads this heads. week. I finally get to pick. Okay, uh, let's go. I'm gonna let. No, you know what? I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna take first pick. All right. Go okay. Take an after image. Cool, cool. So I get the next two then. Yeah, yeah. Because I know what I'm going for. I just have to figure out which <laughs> two. Hmm. This is a very uh, backwards from previous draft champs. We have all of the defense in the world and no damage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's very strange to be in this position. Okay, I'm quite happy with you doing that. I'm going to take this. Okay. Let's say FIFA Q. I'm going to take this. I really like FIFA Q being in replay as well because it, it fixes one of the things that I think is actually a little bit of a problem with the defect at the moment, which is there is very little access to orb slots in the defect. There is one power, there is one shop relic, and then there is one boss relic. Yeah, and I, I agree with you completely. Take a defrag. 
I did want Defrag, but that is okay. Um, that's just because I love Defrag as a card. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty, pretty good one. It's, it's good at being a card for sure. It's like a compile driver. Okay, this is where things get a little bit dicier. Um, actually take Distraction. Take Barrage. Yeah, I really wanted to take Barrage from you. I, I honestly thought you were going to take that over the distraction. Like, I, I see what you're doing with your kind of, like, zero-cost oh, yeah. cycle build. Yeah. It's it's interesting. I want to know how that's going to work out. I, I took it's a little not. bit of a look at that. Yeah. But I, if there was a second claw, I probably would have tried to do that build too. Yeah. I'm basically banking on seeing one in a shop. Which is, you know, that ain't going to work. But that's okay. I'll take Bullseye. Let's... <laughs> I'm actually going to take Limb from Limb. Mm, Which I think interesting. Is I did look at the card. whole board to try and find a way to utilize limb from limb, and I couldn't find vulnerability on there except for the relic. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, this is a weird, but I'm gonna take skewer. Kind of wanted that one too. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take finisher. Mmm. God, if you find some shiv cards in shops, especially, yeah. like, there are some very <laughs> serious shiv synergies yeah. in Relate Aspire that are very good, good uh, be very good for you. Yeah. Specifically, Scrap Shanks. Yeah. I'm glad uh, that you have figured out my plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> on board, on top, above it. I'm going to take the uh, the hologram. That sucks. I did want that. Um, yep. I'm going to take the dagger throw because I need some damage. Rebound. Auto shield. Crippling cloud. I actually take the dual cast from you. Crystal conduit. Uh, give me... This is when they start to get bad. I'll take mm -hmm. survivor. Yeah. <sighs> uh, I'll take heat sinks. Right, I'm going to take a defend. Okay. I'll take a defense. Okay. I'll take stack. Draining mist. All right, I'll take the crap. I, I have had a ridiculous run within Kaniora, but it's it's a, quite a setup to get there. Yeah. Now, you took the first, uh, so I'll be taking the first here. Yeah. I am taking the frozen egg. Okay. I'm taking bag of marbles. Mm-hmm. And... Now I gotta ask, when you yes. took uh, when you took frozen egg, you applying yep. that before you take the cards? Yep. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Good choice. I uh, I agree with that one there. Perfect. Now here's the thing, like, because there's no more relic choices for you, so I can kind of openly debate what I'm going to be taking here. For sure. If I take. The calipers, I am never taking damage. This deck will not take damage. We've got Glacier, Most we've likely. got Defragment. Yeah. We'll, we'll be fine. Um, but also, I am lacking AoE damage for just hitting weenie enemies. I could see the, the Mercury Hourglass, especially considering how long we're going to take in fights with a defensive deck, being actually like a huge, huge buff for us. So I think I'm going to have to take that, but I really wanted the calipers. I... I would have gone calipers, but you know what? It's your deck, and you'll probably whoop me anyway, aren't we? Are we like two and two now? Or are you? I up think we might be. Two? Yeah. I don't. I don't remember, but it'll be. It'll be a good run, nonetheless. Are we gonna transition on over to the run? Set this all up. Hell yeah! Let's do it. All right. See you there. Okay, we back, and we have all of our cards and relics. We, we had a lot of issues getting the replay cards into the deck, but you know what? That's that's inside baseball. Who cares about that? You ready, Reps? I am. I am. I definitely am. It was almost like it was just building up suspense. <laughs> sure. That's what we'll call it. All right. This will be, be interesting um, because immediately I killed the very first enemy because limb from limb... Uh, activated with bag of marbles and I had a good time. So I'm I do mm -hmm. my decks ready. I'm so ready. <laughs> well, I'm uh, I'm taking my time. <laughs> I'm taking the scenic route through this game. Mm. I imagine that yours might be a lot faster than mine exclusively due to the limb from limb. 
could be, yeah. I mean, I, I think that... The thing is, I, I didn't really even plan on my deck being a, a fast deck. I, I kind of intended on being a little bit slower. I mean, I'm, I'm basically playing the claw game, but you're playing... You're playing hella claw game without claws. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So an old claw without claws. Yeah. I like it. So it, I mean, look, it's gonna be a, an interesting, interesting deck as a whole. I'm excited to see where we go with it. Uh, f predictions right now. Where do you think? Where do you think you stand? Knowing what the other other players deck is, where where are you sitting? You think you got this one? I think that I can pull better score modifiers more easily because my deck is more defensive, so I'm going to be able to get things like perfecting fights and stuff like that. Uh, I think you're going to be able to complete fights more easily than I am. So both of us are going to be looking for ways to modify that to our, uh, our benefit. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the scaling damage that I need. Okay. I will say, so I, 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 I'm scared just from the pure... Uh, fact that I'm kind of relying on claws, and mm -hmm. if I'm going for Highlander, I can't really do that. But are you going for Highlander? You don't always have to go for Highlander, you know? That's true, but I don't have a lot of other good ideas here. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. it's kind of, I don't know, right? I don't know. But we'll see. I'm I'm with it for now. I'm with it until I have no reason to, you know. I'm with it until I'm not with it, right? The only way I to thought you were going to be saying something like, uh, "I'm with it until I have no reason to doubt it," and I'm like, "That's that's a <laughs> that's a mixed metaphor there that has invalidated itself." <laughs> you know, that's what. This defensive deck is uh is also not defending very well. That's not really great news for you. I, I can't oh, deny. No, it's it's a bad one. I'm really, really, really going to be looking for maybe even the first shop. Just so that I can actually pick up some cards. Yeah, I mean I'm looking forward to my first shop solely from a uh Ooh, okay. Oh, let's do this. Oh baby. Yeah, that's good. Okay, uh I'm looking forward to my first shop solely from a uh I I just need like something I need something else. Now, I think I actually just picked up that something else from the Elite. Um, so Spicy. When you get there, we'll see We'll see what you think about what is, is received from the Elite fight. But I think, it's, I think it's a little spicy. Was your first It was. Okay, so I, I imagine that uh, I'm going to get the same thing here then? That is most likely going to be the case. I think it's definitely one that we're both going to be interested in on this beautiful run mm. today we'll see though both going to be interested in that's that's weird because both of us have like quite we different have decks very we have very different decks but i think that you might be intrigued solely from a score modifying perspective I think okay yeah i can imagine you've received the card or received the relic yep and i feel like you're probably intrigued I mean, I have a skewer and a barrage in the deck. Yeah. Hence the intrigue. It's, it's, is this our scaling damage in a defensive orb deck, though? Yeah, it's a little it's a little dicey. It's a little dicey, but mm -hmm. it could be okay. I mean, keep in mind, I'm sitting with Uncanny Aura in my deck. So That's true. I have a little bit more That's basically uh, a curse that just doesn't give you the value of uh, being a curse for Duvu. Kinda, yeah. It's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting. Anyway, Raps, how was, uh, we, we missed last week's recording session and the week before, mm. which, I mean, last I week know. was a combination of our faults because I rescheduled it last second and then it was earlier than the time slot and then some sleep schedules got messed up and then the previous week I had the Minecraft dungeon. So it's been, it's legit been straight up two weeks since we've uh talked how have you been how have the last two weeks gone what have you been doing and tell me i need all the details i'm gonna have to start out by saying it's very gracious of you to accept part of the fault for that because it was literally all me baby i mean uh I don't know. entirely my fault i like i specifically i knew that i had that the day after i just didn't set my alarm correct 
that night. I was like, oh, this this is when my alarm should be. <laughs> and uh, and did not did not actually set it to wake up early enough. So I woke up to your message of, oh, so uh, are we ready to go for the stream? And then I woke up to the second message immediately thereafter of, <laughs> hey, uh, so I guess not. <laughs> you know what? That is that is totally okay. To be fair, it, this this past like friggin' year has been chaos. So yep. when when you didn't reply, there was a part of me that was kind of like, you know what? I think I'm okay with it. <laughs> I, I think we'll be okay <laughs> if we miss this uh, recording session today. Um, so it, it was it was really not a problem at all. But you know what? We're here now. Mm -hmm. And we're ready to friggin' I'm ready to beat you in, in Slay the Spire, which is I mean that's that's all I'm really here for anymore anyways, to just beat you in Slay the Spire. So I'm I'm happy. I, I appreciate you bring me along on this journey. <laughs> it's much appreciated. I did you can not do this think, without me, just that is true. But I did not think ever that I was going to see a day in which I could beat you in this game. Like never did and, I think it would happen. And and now I'm, we're two and two. It's crazy. Believe it. It's it's entirely possible. It happens from time to time. It's insane. Uh, I I I think you're gonna be very interested in the first shot that you see. Okay, I I'm gonna tell you right now, I did not see a shop on the first floor, so I'll have to see that on the next floor. Well, I hope that it offers you the same cards then, because there's one in particular here that I think is going to be pretty good for your deck. Okay. Oh, riddle me intrigued. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> Love the mixed idiot in there. Um, but to digress to the thing that you were actually asking about before, uh, last couple weeks, yeah. They yeah, existed. They've been. Yeah, they've been. They're, they've been very, very big, uh, big weeks for me. I've, uh, I've been very busy constantly uh to the point of kind of uh, breaking down from overwhelming stress on uh, one of these days it's okay that's uh, life right it's, it's fine yeah eh, it just happens from time to time you yeah. know you know i had the conversation with pete yesterday where it was like i need to figure out a schedule where i don't figure out it's time to take a break because i have a breakdown <laughs> i need to figure out a schedule where i take breaks yeah <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I agree. I, I mean, I ran into even this, uh, this past. I mean, it was, it was sometime last week. Um, I ran into where I just woke up the one day, and I looked at my screen and I went, I've got like six videos that I had scheduled to, to be on my recording schedule for the day, and I just looked mm -hmm. at them and I went, you know what? I'm not doing any of them today, and I just took a yep. complete day off. It's the first time that I had taken a, a day off of recording. Under my own, like, you know, under my own power to do it, not because I was forced because I had, you know, schoolwork or something like that. It was just the first time that I had all the time in the world and I just went, you know what? I just don't want to do this today. And uh, mm -hmm. it was, it was great. I mean, it was really good. And I, I came out of it feeling, feeling real good. And now I'm back to doing whatever but it was i know i feel like we're like back in like the henry ford time right as uh I as mean, like people the, doing U the, full -time the, the u.s is also quite literally in the henry ford time so <laughs> very true um <laughs> but in particular in terms of like workers uh workers stuff like not necessarily workers rights because we are working for ourselves in this yeah uh but i think a lot of people in our industry are at this point going Gosh, it'd be good if there was such a concept as a weekend. Uh, yeah. It's a shame that's not a thing that exists, and then we just go back to doing. Yeah. No, that is that is very true, and like you know, incredibly awful in every way, shape, and form. But uh, <laughs> hey, that's that's life, right? I don't mean to complain too loudly. It's just a, it's just a like I really need to learn my own limits better on that. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm with you. I I think. Let's be fair, I think we all need to um, learn limits. I'm not sure if that's the right right word to say, but we all need to uh, learn a little bit just in general about how to, to better better ourselves in handling workload right now. Mm -hmm. Because it's been a bit of a... Uh, it's been a bit of a, a long year. <laughs> 
just in general a long year. Yeah, this the last uh, last what six months? Yeah, the last six months have been the longest decade of my life. Yeah, yeah. I, it's I the common that. catchphrase. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap, dude. Where where are you at on the first floor? I'm at the first boss. Yeah, so I am, am going to tell you, I am at risk of dying right now. <laughs> I also am at risk of dying, so don't feel too bad. I was getting upset that I was not flawlessing this, but yeah, I I don't know why my brain was like, yeah, Lagavulin is who we should throw into this thing when you have zero damage whatsoever on your run. Um, and he is, he is straight up whooping my butt right now. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, God. I forgot how the storyteller can be very, very mean. Yeah. Storyteller, please. Yeah, this is... This I, I think I have enough frost orbs up that I could actually just sit here now, but the first couple turns were really, really... Hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, I'm just glad you, know? you took damage because now I'm... I'm I can. Oh, I didn't say a... I took damage. I said I'm close what? to dying. What? You didn't take damage to this friggin' fight? No. <sighs> That sucks. <laughs> I came in with 11 health, so I was close to dying the entire time, but no, I've taken... How taken did you come in with 11 health? Uh, I went to other elites. I so I did one other, two other, I don't remember. I don't know. It, it, it's bad. Oh, oh my god, it's so bad. What the hell, game? Just sneckoed myself and then rolled, like, all twos and threes. Very fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's 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 a harsh one. That's that's something that I find is really really rough about the Snekawai is any time that I'm like trying to convince people that Snekawai is a good thing because it is. It's really good. It's extremely powerful. Draw two means a lot. Uh, any time I try and do that, as soon as I take it, the first turn, the fight thereafter, three, 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 and then possibly I even die to it. And then the point I was making is still true. I just got screwed that one time. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel you. I almost died to Fable Spinner. I had to choose an option that had her not kill me. So it was mm -hmm. it was dicey for sure. Definitely seems like it might have been a little, but I'm very uh, very glad to hear that you survived. Yeah. Oh boy. And then we get two replay relics and slaver's collar. Jesus. I could happily go for a slaver's collar right now. Are you not out of the fight yet? Gremlins. No, yeah, uh, my, okay. my deck is very, very slow. Okay. Uh, I'll be interested to see what you do. I know what I'm doing. I think it's probably a terrible idea, but we'll we'll mess with it. Um, I think I also... Dude, I... Oh, that's like... Wait a minute. Busted Crown. Did yep. they what change about busted, crown? busted Crown? Uh, they didn't. I believe, oh. uh, I believe that... Uh, I believe that the no card reward mod might have been a little bit of Gosh, a shift to it, though. Darn it! <laughs> <laughs> well, screw it. I'm I'm gonna take it anyway. Okay. All right. This is just all messed up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all bad, dude. It's all bad. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh my god! There's so many friggin' <laughs> relics. <laughs> Jeez. There are a fair few oh my God. Uh, unique elements in, in Replay the Spire, and a lot of the Replay the Spire cards <laughs> and uh, and relics are kind of like, not not complicated, but they are like specific capstones for certain builds. So I can imagine that, uh, that there is going to be a comparable level of brain interaction to possibly a Marissa run here of, oh God, there's all these cards, which do I play? What do I do? Kind of situation. Yeah. Yeah, slow, slow will do fine. There's, there's definitely. I just got a lot of interesting crap here, but mm -hmm. good, good stuff. Like, I'm, I'm happy about it. But it, there's, there's some whack, uh, whack stuff going on on this one. Hey, uh, hey Alexa, it's incredibly rude of me to have not already asked, but how was, uh, how was your last two weeks? Oh, you know, uh, they were okay. Like I said, besides the. A couple of days of just uh i don't want to ever do anything anymore um mm -hmm. besides that it was it was fine right it's never like i don't want to say like you know 
I never want to say things are are bad, right? Mm -hmm. But these past these past two weeks, it's kind of been like you know I would prefer if things got better, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, it'd be cool if you know here and there, life wasn't horrible. But that's that's life, right? So be that's it. what all the people say. I honestly, yeah, I I feel like that is kind of most people's experience yeah, at the moment. Yeah, th this year is just not good <laughs> that's, that's not me trivializing it by saying you know like yeah whatever everyone has it it's, no, it's more it's like just yeah because i i feel more comfortable in certain situations where like especially when i feel negative when i know that other people are in the same boat oh and yeah. it's not because i want other people to be suffering it's just because i don't want i i don't want this to be something that i am uniquely going through i want it to be like part of the human experience exactly. that everyone can understand no this i'm i'm with you yeah that kind of thing I, I um, completely understand that. <laughs> and I, I agree wholeheartedly with that uh, sentiment here. <laughs> uh, I got ectoplasm and busted crown from my uh, my grab bag, so I get no more money and I'm not buying anything from shops. I'm done. Deck's done. Let's go. I... So I'm, that's actually really interesting because that means that we actually got the same uh, stuff from that and i chose against doing busted crown or against mm -hmm. doing ectoplasm because i was i know that this deck needed more from shops uh and yep. i needed the money and i have a couple of other things that are, are money money bound right now so i'm interested to see how that goes with your deck you know basically you're calling it a day on this one but uh i so I, I, I will say it immediately went badly because then I took the two non-energy relics. I got Inserter, great. I got Calling Bell, yep. which gave me Smiling Mask yeah. and the Courier. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you got okay. Wait, you got Courier from that. I did not. So I got Smiling Mask. I got Horn Cleat, and I got Ice Cream. So energy is literally not an issue for me anymore. But that's interesting. Mm-hmm. So we deviated just a, a tiny, tiny amount. An extremely small, but I have to say a pretty significant amount. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that's, that's interesting. That's, uh, I can no longer use shops, and I don't care about using shops. And here's two shop relics. Yeah. I mean, that, that sucks, but... I, oh, that's, well. Life is... Sometimes life do be like that, right? Oh, that's life. That's what all the people say. You run high in April and shut down in May. Sometimes, sometimes it... it do really be it mm -hmm. do really be i don't think it be like it but it sometimes it do be though sometimes it do, it do be <laughs> very clear and well made concise point yeah oh well, i would ask normally i do the uh well that is quite interesting just got prayer wheel completely for free um Ooh, gonna be very very little help on this run but hey that's beside the point um normally i ask you know what guy kind of fun games that you've played in the past uh couple weeks but i mean you know what i can i can still ask it got any fun games you played in the past couple of weeks that are not monster train <sighs> um <laughs> the fact that you have to think about it is just <laughs> telling of the situation huh i i okay hang on uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the thing that i really want to talk about here and that is Fallout New Vegas. I have mm. uh, started to do a, a modded Fallout New Vegas run for the Twitch channel to celebrate uh, hitting partnership because uh, I couldn't celebrate partnership at the time. I was busy on my monster train grind, but I'm finally getting back to doing that and just playing it again, you know, older than I last played it because I played it, you know, I want to say about five times through back when it came out. And then I tried to go through again with mods a couple different times, but I would always get, you know, halfway through the game or possibly even all the way up to the strip but then i'd be like okay okay i need to move on to another game at this point or something like that uh so but this is my final time of actually like getting to re-engage with it as like a full adult as uh, someone who can wrestle with the kind of like political philosophical ethical and moral decisions that the game proposes to you uh in a much more complex and interesting kind of way and it's such a good experience it has been such a damn good time uh, even despite the fact that it was one of my favorite games of all time, I feel like I had previously been underrating it. That is so, yeah. 
I mean, that's, Full that's Vegas. great. Yeah, I, I can't think of anything better than hearing that, to be honest with you. I do have one thing that I'm going to say that's going to make you, like, maybe maybe cry and not happy with me. I've you never I've never played a Fallout game. That's fine. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to be mad with you for not playing a Fallout game. That's okay. Okay. I've never played a... Never played The Binding of Isaac. <laughs> never played The Binding of Isaac, exactly. It's uninstalled <laughs> on my PC. You can go check it. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 because I, I, I did think about that, and then I was like, wait a second, not only have I played The Binding of Isaac, but I also don't <laughs> want to give the instinct, the, the impression, rather, that I assume that that's all that you play. Yeah. Well, I mean, it it is the most successful series on my channel, um, in case you didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, surprisingly uh, enough. I would have never, never known, to be honest, but thank God that... Thank God that people let me know. I, I don't know what I'd do without... Uh, Without random YouTube commenters. <laughs> uh, is it, what what was there any kind of like a like franchise of games that you grew up with, like your, your Final Fantasy, your Spyro, your Crash, your etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera? Uh, I was I was a Kingdom Hearts kid. Okay, that's actually a really really good point. I've never played a Kingdom Hearts in my entire life. Although I, Kingdom Hearts people don't tend to be mad that you haven't played Kingdom Hearts. They're like, more Kingdom Hearts for me. Uh, well, I'm going to go the exact opposite, actually, with that one. And I'm going to say it's probably for the better that you haven't. <laughs> because, like, look, Kingdom Hearts, it's fine, right? It's fine. It's an okay game. But in the end, let me hit you with the hottest take of the century. Kingdom Hearts is actually horrible. Like, it's <laughs> it's not good at all so we can pretend that it's good if you want to so that we can please the kingdom hearts fandom but i'm gonna tell you you are not missing anything by not playing kingdom hearts the issue with kingdom hearts is it is a really really good story if you decide to peel back the like 18 layers of weird whack job story that the game has in order to find the story in the game and once you do that, maybe then you can find an appreciation for the story in Kingdom Hearts. But otherwise, it's horrendous gameplay 95% of the time. So there's like no reason to actually play it. What actually is the gameplay of it? It's weird, but I don't know. Yeah, so Kingdom Hearts is basically Final Fantasy called up Disney and went, we'll give you a bunch of money if you let us put Disney characters into an RPG. And Disney went, okay, sounds good. We'll make money from that. Um, which, you know, relatively standard Disney thing to do. And they mm -hmm. they went and ran with it. And so basically the storyline is there's a, a big group of scary-ass people. Um, those scary-ass people try to uh, I do something uh, okay. that something ends up where sometimes things go wrong i it, it's i'm telling you i would really like to explain it in a way that makes more sense but it, it really ends up being where i don't even really know what the storyline of kingdom hearts is but then there's a dude on an island and then he's in love with some girl but they're also like they're like 12 to be perfectly mm -hmm. blunt um so he's he's not actually in love with that girl and then throughout the series they get older and like i think he realizes that he's not in love with that girl he might be gay because he's kind of in love with the guy too it's it's just mm -hmm. it's all the entire thing is just it's i mean it, it's a it's a true acid trip of a series i'll tell you that but okay. it's just a i got nothing it, it's a very confusing if you can play it and comprehend anything going on in Kingdom Hearts, best to you. Um, I have not been able to in the... I mean, I just replayed it again like two or three years ago, and I still have no idea what it's about. So, Okay. I, I need to ask for clarification on a couple points. Um, <laughs> I mean, it was, it was a lot to take in, I know. <laughs> it was a lot to take in. Um, uh, th so the first uh, point of clarification, actually, this, this is more of a statement, is what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right, yeah. You nailed it. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad. Uh, the second is... That sounds... Really, really labored. It 
it's I, I've seen like uh, little bits and pieces of uh, of different parts of the game of of the yeah. specific like the story arcs of the game. Yeah. Um, and all of them kind of seem like this is this is just going to you know, annoy the community as well. But they kind of seem like let's make something that would be like an interesting kind of scene in an RPG. We'll explain it later. <laughs> and then not necessarily going back to explain it later. Uh, yeah. I mean, that sounds about right. Um, there's also just a lot of, there's a lot of things where you just kind of look at the game and you're like, I mean, to, to quote you a few seconds ago, you look at it and you just go, what? Mm -hmm. Because it's kind of like, you know, you're, you're doing your own thing. Uh, and then all of a sudden, you know, Jiminy Cricket's there and he's like, watch out. And then you turn around, <laughs> yeah. it's like a flesh eating monster. And you're like, well, how did that get there exactly? That, that's, then, that's the thing that I'm talking about. Like I yeah. walked in on my old housemate playing, uh, playing some of the, uh, playing some of the most recent one. Yeah, I have not played was... the most recent one. So I can't, I can't speak on how, how canon that one is, but I've heard it's horrendous. So for what it's Okay. <laughs> uh, I... Uh, for, for anyone that is worried about possible spoilers, I don't know what point this part of the, the game is. I also don't know how much it features. I don't know what impact it has. Nice. But they were in the, the world with Elsa, and Elsa just did the plot of Frozen again. It was just Frozen again, and they did Frozen again. And yeah. then at the end of that, they looked up on a on a hill, and there was the, the, the enemy of Goofy, I think, <laughs> uh, standing next to Maleficent. The and they just said an aside. Goofy. The enemy of Goofy, the anti-Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> and they ju they just said some sneering aside and then disappeared. Yeah. And I watched a lot of the rest of him playing that game. I didn't see him again. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Um, honestly, like, it seems everything like they you wanted said that... sounded right. Yeah. It seems like they just wanted that moment of, okay, and now like would be a good point for a villain to pop up and say something, but they didn't figure out anything that they wanted to do with it. Yeah. Um, no, you, you have, you have the majority of it. I am 12 HP away from flawlessing the second boss and I hate it. You're the second boss? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't reached halfway of the second floor. Yeah, I'm going to be done in like very soon. My deck's actually very good. It's just my score is going to be ass. So, oh wow, dude, there's a replay relic that is, it's whack. It's, mm -hmm. it's horrible. It's so horrible, and I'm so 100% taking it. Oh, my God. I don't know which you're referring to, but I, oh I hope to find out soon. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Of course. But it goes. Yeah. I would really like even more energy. Oh, you see, that I, I can give you some if you need. Because oh, my, my deck is um, nearly, I would say it's it's close to 50% zero cost cards. And then I have two energy relics and ice cream. So you can kind of Yeah, I was, I was thinking about that when I uh, when yeah. I figured out that you must have taken grab bag. Because I was like, oh yeah. Two energy boss relics? Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it do be like that. Do sometimes. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. That's okay. That's that's me at the majority of times as well. Nice. I feel like I'm a reasonably convincing simulation of a human being. <laughs> this is <laughs> I I just I don't even know. Sure. That's a weird, weird run, dude. My I score. Think what, I, I, the boss. Yeah, I don't know. My score is gonna be. I that that's the problem. I don't even know what my score is gonna be. Because I I could just straight up die on this floor still. I think. I now have enough curses in my deck that limb from limb uh does more than thirty two unblocked damage without uh any vulnerability. So. That's not half bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, I didn't really expect that on this run, to be blunt. Um, didn't really plan for that one, but when in doubt, it works. Um, whew. I would love, Raps, I really would love. Um, 
I would love to see you play Kingdom Hearts. I think you could actually really get into it. <laughs> Honestly. So you said, like, effectively, this game is absolutely impenetrable. It's not good and not fun. But I'd love to see you play it. Yeah. Just subject yourself to this. No, I would love to see you play it. Um, Solely because the way that you do commentary and voiceovers in games. Mm. I, I just want to see you do random Disney character voices. I'd, I'd be kind of keen on doing that. I think it'd be an absolute blast to watch. I... I Spam Rhapsody's comment section with Play Kingdom Hearts if you want him to play Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> you know, I could just play other games with voice acting in. Why does it have to be Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> well, because, you know, it's Kingdom Hearts. There's a, there's a whole You're fandom right. waiting for you to play it, so. Yeah, but I don't know if that fandom's going to want to watch me after the thing that I said earlier in the episode. Yeah, you know. I it's think okay. I've, uh, I've burned that bridge. <laughs> I, I doubt it. If there's one thing I've learned about the Kingdom Hearts community, it's that they're, they're, see, that's the thing. I, I think the Kingdom Hearts community is actually totally okay with people trashing the Kingdom Hearts community. Yeah, it, that itself. actually does seem to, to track. Like, because I've seen I, that I, kind think, of, I think we all yeah. just realize it's bad. But we all grew up with it, so it's kind of like that, yeah, it's bad, but it's, it's my bad, right? Yeah, is it the kind of like this is my friend? I get to make fun of them. You don't. That exactly. Or yeah. or do they like? Are they fine with people on the outside of the community saying it's bad as well? They're probably fine with people on the outside saying it as well. But okay. No, it you is gotta appreciate it is. that. Yeah. Uh, Uncanny see. Aura has become a very strangely good card in this deck, and I I just hate oh. it, to be honest. God, I wasn't even thinking about that. Yeah, if you're going to be taking yeah. a bunch of curses, then Uncanny Aura is incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Surprisingly much better than I originally gave it credit for. You're finding a lot more curses than I have, though. I found uh, one, and it was from the Calling Bell. Yeah, so I'm going to reassure you, uh, after that second boss, you're not going to have any issues getting yourself some curses. Oh. <laughs> so if that's the direction you want to go have a blast um it, i still don't think it is though but my barrage is the only thing in my deck that deals damage so yeah, you know, i might not have a choice i mean i will say i i'm not sure it was actually worth it for me to do what i did but and you're running a bunch of zero cost attacks right yes so you saying that is like oh big warning for me yeah um i mean like it's it's working but i I don't know. I I still think you have me purely on score right now. That's my issue. It's it's possible. I've perfected a few elites. I perfected the first floor boss. I still am not at the second floor boss. This is going to take much, much longer than I was expecting. I also just realized something. Claw Rake doesn't add a claw to my deck. So I can freely mm -hmm. add a claw to my deck with no issues. That's yeah. spicy. Uh, okay. Bullseye. It's weird to also be playing not only just with the Replay the Spire cards, but also with the Defect and the Silent, because the Defect is... The, the, the Defect does require a bit of brain. Just a so, little bit. Some I brain. Yeah. Especially if you're going for, like, an all build, so... Yeah. It, this, this is a lot easier to do with the commentary, especially when we're playing like Ironclad and it's just like throw the biggest attack at the enemy and then sometimes yeah. defend. Yeah. No, I agree. Okay. Oh. Did you take uh, less map information, by the way? I did not, no. Okay. I went with uh, less map information. Instead of that, that's the ectoplasm that I picked up. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I decided to go less map information because it still shows the uh, elites on the map. Fun fact. Oh, neat! So I'm I'm basically just rolling blind through through this entire thing, but it's I don't know, it's it's working, so I can't really hate on it. I just did 250 damage on my first turn to uh, the Rhapsodic Hoarder. So, uh, excuse me, you hit the Rhapsodic Hoarder? I did. I'm afraid when you get to the Rhapsodic Quarter, you have to concede. That's how it works. Is that how it works? I would have done it if we found the... Oh, God, what's your one called again? The, uh, 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 yeah, I don't, I don't remember, and that's not good. Um, <laughs> crap. 
I think it's like blue mage or something. Yes, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love a replay of the spire, dude. What a, it's so what a, good. What a great, great mod. It's not because there's a reference to me in it. That's not the reason. Well, I mean, there's a reference to you in it because you were playing it because you felt it was a great mod, right? That it's is the other also way around. true. Yeah, yeah. It's wrapped around. Just a great mod. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you oh, see Oh, did you? Yeah. Did, did, no, yeah. it's not even in the, the boss yeah. fight. You just you went to a shop and just... No. Right clicked. No. Did no? you not get Ancient Bell as an option? No, I haven't seen that. I saw oh. Wax Seal, which is relics in shops cost 20% I mean, less. Right click yeah. at a shop to activate and gain yeah. a curse in your yeah. deck. Yeah, well, I did that too. But I also got Ancient Bell, which is choose three relics and choose three curses. So are you not just going to a shop and then adding infinite curses to your deck and killing every enemy with your first attack? Uh, No, I'm not, actually. Because, Why? Because I'm going for Highlander. And, oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But the cool thing is so cool. It is cool, but I also, yeah. And then like I also have gambling chips, so I suppose I could also just like gambling chip away all the curses. But mm -hmm. all you have to do is find literally one attack, and yeah, you have lethal. Yeah, I know. But like, I'm going for the win. I'm also, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm also I, debating I... taking Omamori right now because I already have my five curses. Go for it. I, I don't want to dupe, so I, I'm going to take it. It's spicy, dude. I also, every single card in my deck is upgraded. Yeah, I'm, I'm working my way there. Okay. When you add few cards to the deck, and also there were like a lot of upgrades over the course of the pods, so both were, of us have taken, yeah. I imagine. Yeah. Like, um, it'll happen. It'll happen. It's, it's been a spicy run. Way better than oh. I expected this run to be, for sure. Yeah, I'm, oh. I'm killing elites on the first uh, bit of combat. We 35. said that Dreamcatcher is fair game, right? Yes. Cool. Yeah, just no no card awards after normal fights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's spicy. I basically in the first two turns, if I don't pull a glacier, then I take damage in that fight. I've been very lucky to pull glaciers uh, at the right time in the right fights like i'm perfectly blocking against the bronze automaton so far which like just over one edge i would lose a hundred points if i couldn't perfectly block yeah so it's very very rough i am really banking on you not flawlessing that boss because otherwise i think i'm in really bad shape the bronze automaton in particular yeah, just because... Oh, wait, no, you've moved... I, I, for some reason, I thought you were on the uh, last floor boss, but... No. Did you flaw a second floor? Uh, I am currently fighting it. It looks like I am going to, yes. That's not good. <clears throat> That's not good for me. I I really, really need to, you to fail on him, because I that means oh. that I don't have... Because you have two bosses flawless now. Yep. Uh, yeah. On pickup, choose three relics and three curses to obtain. Yeah, All choices yeah, yeah, yeah. are out of three options. Okay. Kind of skipped. Yeah. There's that. Uh, like, I do I uh, I do it right? Do, do I? I think you do hang it. On. Yeah, because if I pick up one more curse next floor, then I actually get uh, the the curses modifier, which is an extra hundred, and you're going to get that. Yeah. Which means that I have to try for it. Yeah. No, I'm I'm actually like pretty damn positive that you have me now like i i just I, I haven't been able to do enough like I, I don't have enough other things right now so one of my favorite uh relics in replay the spy just showed up whenever a card is created in combat it's upgraded yeah I, snag that quantum too. egg should be in the base game yeah it just should be no i i also snagged that it's just I I can't I can't take it right now because it does nothing for my deck, but it's so good. Alright. These relics are actually kind of not necessarily great for me. I just, I, just, I just took a ton of damage to the damn hexagos, dude. I'm mad.
And by a ton, I mean 12, but that was the first bit of damage I took on this floor, so. Was that on the second turn? Uh, what do you mean? Like, was it the, the Hexaghost's turn to the, the giant attack? Yeah, yeah, turn yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, sometimes I'll get to that choice, the uh, do you want to fight a boss from Act 1? Yep. And I'll just look at my max HP and I'm like, you know what? No. Yeah. Because it's still dangerous for me yeah. right now. It's just I was in a situation, I was full health, so the full heal for a curse was like, why? Um, I had all my cards are upgraded. So it was like, okay, why? Um, so I might as well go for the rare relic and then it boned me. So, mm -hmm. very fun. Was it That'll happen to you from time to time. Yep. And now I'm on the time eater and it's a pain in the ass. See, I've got two glaciers in the deck. I think I'm going to go to a shop and I'm going to get infinite curses and then blow up the enemy with a Doomu doll. Is there anything that'll stop me from doing that? Probably not. Because otherwise, like, Duvu and Wax Seal... Well, but I know Wax Seal's been in the game for ages, does so that... Does Wax Seal work with uh, Ectoplasm? Uh, borrow 100 gold. Well, no, it won't. But yeah. the thing is, I don't care about the gold. I care about the curses. Oh, that's fair. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I don't know. It might... I mean, you, you very well might have a... You, you might rock the god tier synergy that I decided not to rock. I, we'll see. I mean, see, I've got to do it at least once, so I'll because that's the the fifth curse in the deck. So that'll give me the information as to whether or not I can do it more times rather yeah. than actually having to risk anything. Thankfully. Yeah. <sighs> so many. <laughs> I got the time meter down to fourteen health before he switched to his. Uh, new phase that always hurts that <clears throat> sucks a lot and now he's doing a disturbing amount Ooh, apotheosis upgrade the two cards in my deck that are no longer upgraded oops yeah you got me because i took damage on this fight now so you're gonna have way more flawlesses than me i'm also i might freaking die <laughs> Because now I'm just playing dumb. Uh, that might might happen to me over the course of the floor, because my combat against these normal enemies, like shapes and stuff, is actually not great. I am all set up, no execution. I mean, I have a ridiculously good score for my standards. Mm -hmm. But I think you got me. I think you got me. I am done with my floor three now. Okay. I am uh, still at the bottom of mine. Take your time, my friend. Take your time. I can Much sit here and, and look up lore of uh, lore of Kingdom Hearts while we wait. Yeah. So, what's a Zayn not? Oh, um, that is. Ooh, he was. See, here's the thing. Okay, with yeah. Kingdom Hearts, there's like God. there's a thing called the Heartless, and the Heartless is like the bad version of the good people. So there's like a bad agency and they are darkness, but then there's also like heartless versions of them, which I don't know what the difference is. And then there's mm -hmm. like, there's Sora, but then he has a heartless version called Roxas. Who's Sora? Sora oh. is, he's the main dude. He's the guy with the, the spiky brown hair, very anime. Um, Got it. The one that walks around with Donald and Goofy a lot. Yeah. Um, so there's him. He's Sora, but then he has a heartless version named Roxas. And the second game, Kingdom Hearts 2, starts with you playing as Roxas. And you're like, who the hell is this guy? And then they're like, plot twist, he's Sora. Except not really. Except he kind of is. Except you don't know why. And they never explain it. Okay, cool. Yeah. That, that just seems like another element of, yeah, they just say things for this is a cool twist. And oh, then don't yeah. explain it. A hundred percent. The, the people that made Kingdom Hearts sat in a room and they just wrote a bunch of plot points on dice um, and then they rolled them and whatever they <laughs> rolled is the scene they put in that section and then they moved to the next and they rolled again um, because there's no rhyme or reason to when anything occurs in the game. It really is. It, it's an anime nightmare is the best way to describe Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I like that as a descriptor. Anime nightmare. Yeah. I'm into it.
Which you'd think a lot more people would be into. Like if they if they just advertise the game as Kingdom Hearts, the Disney anime nightmare, I think it would have an even bigger fandom. Yeah, very few companies are willing to embrace like how our project is trash. <laughs> we buy it. And more of them should. I I mean I never said that. I mean I did quite literally say Kingdom Hearts was trash earlier, but I never said that they should advertise as trash. I just said they should advertise it as anime trash, which is different. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. You're right. I misunderstood. Yeah, you had an extra word in there that I deleted. Yeah. Changing something from being trash to anime trash is like changing. It's like breakfast or dinner, you know? It has a different vibe to it when when you eat breakfast for dinner instead of breakfast for breakfast. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm I, saying? The, the way that I would explore it is to say that uh, saying anime trash has a aesthetic <laughs> to it. Well, eating breakfast for dinner has an aesthetic too. Yeah, exactly. You're uh, you're a dad and you got recently divorced. How? I... <laughs> so don't hate on <laughs> breakfast for dinner. But I'm not. I like breakfast for dinner. I, I am often a divorced dad. <laughs> We know, raps. I was talking to uh, Peak recently, actually, about that kind of thing, and it feels like I am a dad that just got born as a young kid, and I'm aging into myself. Like, because I make more sense with time. <laughs> yeah. I didn't make sense as a kid. I was, I was one of those kids that, like, people were like, oh, you're an old soul, which is just adults calling kids dickheads, effectively. But, like... <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah it's an old soul, that yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, watch out for him when he's older. Uh, yeah. No, I, I get that. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like, uh, for the most part, anybody that ends up doing YouTube commentary as mm. a career probably had issues as a child. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and that, you know, I speak from the heart as a content creator <laughs> but um mm -hmm. yeah i don't know man i don't know i've been doing in my videos recently i've been doing uh questions of the day where it's basically just that's been working out for you i mean it's 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 fine right you know the other day mm -hmm. i went into the the questions tab on my discord and the question for the day was you know if you were a furry what would your fursona be and i was like you know what oh, probably, i need to know now probably gonna move on to the next question to be fair what? Um, i'm sorry but i need to know now <laughs> i don't know probably like a beaver or something um, why a beaver i don't know i like beavers okay or, or, <laughs> is, yeah. is it just as simple as that yeah i think it's a, do I, you I don't feel know I, anything do you feel akin to a beaver in no, any way is no, there is no do I don't, beavers have any no. traits that you admire they got big teeth. You and Maya big teeth? Yeah, it allows you to eat more. All right, fair enough. See, yeah. there we go. You said no, 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 no. Well, actually, I mean, yeah, yeah. No, now, now you've been coming around on this. Yeah, exactly. Anyway, I'll uh, I'll commission it. <laughs> Please do not. <laughs> there I'm have been uh, people in my community who've threatened to commission uh, furry things of me before, nice. and uh, yeah, my response is always, "Please do not. Please do not do this." Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, yeah, I felt the same way. Um, but anyway, I, I got a question that was, um, all about how you broke it to your parents, what you do. And it was, mm. it was a weird one. Cause it's like, you know, my parents are, are very supportive of what I do. Um, but they also don't understand it most of the time. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like they're like, yeah, I, that's cool. But like, you're making money doing this? <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> I mean, that that's actually uh, uh, an interesting thing to hear you say in particular, because that's how I had to justify it as well. It was yeah. like, here's all the things that I'm doing. Uh, okay. Oh, and also, it's making money. Wait, hang on, how much? <laughs> yeah. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could just, uh, like, you know. Yeah. Although, you know, it, it is dealing with media that they're not necessarily familiar with in ways they're not necessarily familiar with. So, yeah, That's absolutely it's, true. It's hard. And, yeah. it's and it's always, you know, I for a while, um, and it, it's not even, I'm not even going to do it to my family. I'm going to do it to IRL friends. Because, like, you know, growing up, not everybody was a gamer, right? 
Mm. You know, there, there, there were the jocks in the crowd. There were the, well, I, I had some good friends that, you know, they never understood why do you play video games? Mm-hmm. You know, why not instead just like watch TV? And I was like, I don't know. Cause playing video games is way more fun than sitting on my ass watching TV. And then mm-hmm. like, they're like, oh, well, you know, I'd rather watch football game or a soccer game or whatever you i don't know what you call it in australia it's all the same um i'd rather do that than watch somebody playing a game on youtube or twitch and it's like what is the difference would you rather act in a film would well, you rather act yeah. in a film or watch a film exactly <laughs> there's there's a performative element to it yeah sure but oh. there's also an interactive entertainment element to it. It's... And I think I've, I've heard that argument a bunch of times. People also are are in, you know, they they don't fully understand why anybody would ever watch a game, like somebody playing a game. But they don't understand that, like, you know, at least the way that you and I do content, half the time it's not about the game. Like, yeah, it's about the person. It's about the commentary. It's about the the storytelling. It's about the the immersive experience that you put them through. And I feel like that's something that when you're explaining, you know, when somebody goes, oh, what do you do for a living? That's a part of it that they don't, you can't, it's difficult to explain that aspect of it. Yes. Yeah. Definitely, definitely agreed. Yeah. Anyway, Raps, how's your run? Uh, it's going pretty well. I'm the second to last, third, fourth, fourth to last space. Nice. Um, this is probably my last uh, big fight. Uh, exciting. I'm doing okay. I didn't end up going to a shop, so I didn't end up picking up all the curses that I wanted to. Unfortunate. Mm-hmm. I figured I was going to find one along all the question marks, and I wanted to go down the question marks because I have mystery machines, so I'm getting a bunch of stre- uh, dex and strength just for going to question marks. Yeah. I also a did good have it. Yeah. Yeah, Mystery Machine was great in this yeah. run for me. I, dude, I'm telling you, this is... So I'm going to warn you, this is the highest score I've ever gotten in Draft Champs. I am now scared. Yeah. So, and you know some of the scores that we've had. So Yeah, my timbers are shivering. Yeah. I don't know how I even... Like, I don't know what I... I don't know what I did. Have you got the score modifiers in front of you? I do. And I'm still trying mine's to figure a, out. I'm trying to figure out why, how I got them. But mind I'm, giving me a sneaky little preview of what you got there? So I mean, I've got I've got Highlander. I've got I like shiny. I've got Popper. I've got curses. You so went Pauper? Oh, I went Pauper. I didn't even notice I went Pauper. That's Oops. a problem for me. I still think you got me. Like hands down, got me. But. Wh- We'll see, because, like, I did not go Highlander. I did go co- uh, Curses. It's, just, it's really you, just going to come down Your to the... flawless bosses are going to give you more than the 100 for Highlander. Possibly. Possibly. I also did pick up, uh, you know, the, the plunge your hands into fire in order to get uh, rings? Sure. The... Yeah, I don't think I got that, though. Right, uh, it was on along uh, a question mark line, so I got okay. the Ring of Misfortune, which is, at the start of combat, add a random curse into your discard pile. Each time you draw a curse, gain an energy and three temporary HP. Each wow. time you draw a status, gain three block. That's, so I am that getting ridiculous energy me. out of that. Yeah, that would have been yeah. insane for me. That said, I had most, I was ending most of my turns at 11 energy. Um, <laughs> so not, not really too, too big of an issue with the energy front, but the temp HP, I probably would have flawlessed... I definitely would have flawless the second boss. Probably could have flawless the third. I could have flawless the third anyway, but I was dumb, which is problematic. But you flawless all all of them so far, right? Yes. Yeah. No, you 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 got me and that it sucks cuz like you're going to have a massive score, like freakishly large. We shall see, we shall see. We will. I, uh, I've held on to a elixir for exhausting all status and curse cards, but I don't even know if I want to use it. I didn't use them. I ended up throwing mine away. <laughs> I didn't even bother using it. But it might be so good. I mean, the way that you're getting energy from your curses, I don't think you have a reason to. Yeah, but also it's denying so much of my draw. 
that's true. Like, See, I had, I, had, I had surprisingly a discard meta in my deck. Um, mm -hmm. So I was able to actually just beat the curses when I got them. So they, they very rarely did they affect me. And the one that did affect me, it was a positive effect because Splinters is a really good curse. Um, two damage for a draw is really good when you have block. Well, I mean, but it, it only draws to replace itself. Yeah, but like, have it. it becomes nothing then. Like, it's just, it's nothing. So I'm, I'm chill with it. It's a great curse to have if you need a curse in your deck. Right, yeah. It, yeah. It's a preferable curse. Yeah, yeah, I'll go with that as well. Oh, no, I lined up Time Eater wrong. Now I have only one attack that gets played this turn. Best of Rude. luck. <laughs> Best of luck. I'm, uh, dude, I mean, I'm I do generate really 42 block at the end of my turn if I do nothing. That's disgusting. It's pretty disgusting. Yeah, I feel pretty bad about it. It's very interesting because you ran a like true defect deck, and I ran about as far from a defect deck as you could run. Yeah, because I because I would dual cast my uh, lightning orb and then never got another one in. Like I just had no orbs the entire entire run. That's what you get for taking my dual cast. Yeah. I mean, I took it. Basically, the only reason I took it was to upgrade it to a zero cost. And then mm -hmm. it was another zero cost card to run with after image, which I ended up removing in my final shop so I could get popper. <laughs> oh, well, fun. I. Huh. I, I thought you'd taken it because you wanted to deny it from me. After image or dual cast? I mean, dual I wanted cost. to deny it from you, too, but I could also use it as a free one block right and a way to get rid of my lightning right. orb it was an easy 16. that is the time eater down okay i don't feel confident if if this is your highest score ever i do not feel confident here really really so uh why don't you why don't you start the uh start the betting okay above a thousand yes above 1100 Yes. Below 1400. Yes. Above 1200. Yep. Below 1350. No. Okay, then you got me. Okay, what'd you have? 1345. That's not that far, 1385. Okay, okay. So you had an extra 40 somewhere. I, um, did you take on every elite every floor? See, I tried to. Um, I had that two. Would be three, I had, five, two. No, I had two, five, two. Okay. Um, so that's I, ten. Yeah, I would prioritize yeah. a little extra question mark action on the first floor, but. Mm -hmm. But your flawless I, bosses got you. Yeah, I was I was running away from the 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 stuff, but yeah, that is interesting because specifically, if I failed to flawless any of those, I would have lost you. Yeah, handily. So despite that, it was still very, very close. Your uh, your idea close. of consistently going for Highlander, because Highlander is 100 points, and obviously with the difficulty of adding more cards to your deck, is a very, very appealing option. I didn't go for it because I felt it was so important that I had Glacier that I uh, I got a second copy of it. I, I just had to have it. Because yeah. without that, I actually don't think I would have perfected the bosses. So like it turns back in on itself. I could have picked up 100 from Highlander, but I would have lost 100 from Beyond Perfect. The thing is, when I first started the uh, the run, I didn't intend on going for Highlander because I expected to get Claws on the run. Um, mm -hmm. And then I only ever saw one. And it was like, all right, uh, this deck doesn't need more of them. So if another shows up, I'm just not even going to take it anyway. And none showed up anyway. Like, I never had a card that I went, oh, yeah, I need two of that. Like, I had the opportunity to Dolly's Mirror at one point. And, like, sure, I could have Dolly's Mirrored, like, FTL or something like that. But it just... My deck was solid the entire time. It's just I had... It was a case of bad draw on every boss, which is, you know, that's the name of a card game. Yeah, it does happen. The uh, the gambling chip is very nice for the oh, ability to yeah. kind of cycle that early draw as well. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I may end up actually having to watch your perspective because I do want to know how your deck actually played. Because I know mine mine's pretty straightforward. I just defended until I blew the enemy up with Barrage. Um, but yours, I... I want to know how it played and how it how it had all the pieces come together. 
Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of just gambling chip uh, away any curses at the beginning and normally any block unless I needed it. And then, you know, it was a combination of uh, FTL, limb from limb, uh, slice, master stab, claw, beam cell, cloak and dagger, and then doing a finisher for a ton of damage. Ooh. Beam cell with a limb from limb. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was very good. It's but then keep in mind that my limb from limb was also, you know, I had enough damage on it to get the refund anyway. <laughs> so Yeah, that is always ridiculous. Yeah. I do want to run something that like, has the capability of doing that and is an infinite. Just limb from limb, limb from limb, limb from limb, limb from limb. Oh, yeah. That, that is what a, like a Dolly's Mirror could have done if the deck was thinner. True, yeah. Um, But then even still, I mean, I mean, I suppose I could have done it with the amount of energy that I had, but... Yeah, it was still a good. Yeah, time. it does only refund two energy but costs three, so it's not yeah. an infinite. It's just like a good cycle. Yeah. But anyway, that's been Slay the Spire Draft Champions. If you guys enjoyed, as always, the like on the videos is much appreciated by both of us. The links to each other's channels and more in the description if you want to uh, see that. Come on by on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash Rhapsody Plays on Wednesdays, and also on mine if you would like at Alexa Stream for uh, Wholesome Verse Streaming, where we do random uh, multiplayer good stuff, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll hope to see you there in the nearby future. Right, Raps? I'm also just going to quickly slide in a subtle plug to say that uh, on the uh, Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and Mondays, over on twitch.tv slash Rhapsody Plays, you can see the tale of Regina Hammerschmidt, <laughs> uh, the, the Wasteland Adventurer. I'm also going to ask, What's wrong with Regina Hammerschmidt and uh, her got, Wasteland uh, Adventures? No, I got nothing. Perhaps. <laughs> that, all I got. <laughs> it seemed to confuse both you and Jonas, and I was like, oh no, is there like <laughs> a historical figure who yes. like conquested the Mojave called Regina Hammerschmidt, and I'm yes. accidentally invoking that? Yep. You've angered our people. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> well, we're going to be continuing that anger over at, again, twitch.tv slash Rapsy Place. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday for more of the Fallout New Vegas run. It has only recently started, so you can jump on in relatively early. Well, there That's, you have uh, it. That's the only plug that I've got to do at the end there. Thank you for letting me do it. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next week for more Slay Spire Draft Champions. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye. Adios.